everyone, Melanie Minshinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I've got kind of a bonus video for you this week doing some clean and simple cards with two of my re-released um, stamp sets, the Gifts from the Sea and Festive Frame. So these were released before but now they're in clear and as I mentioned in a video a few weeks back, the Gifts from the Sea has some bonus images in it. So Christmas is coming even though it's August and we just started back to school. This is the time that all of us card makers are always starting to think about those Christmas cards. And Paperless Post, I'm doing kind of a guest post for them today. They reached out to me and wanted me to show their take, or my take, excuse me, on some of their designs on their website. So if you're not familiar with Paperless Post. This is a really cool site that sells both paper cards and online versions of those cards. And both of those have a place in our card making needs. So I send out about 100 cards probably at Christmas time. I start months beforehand because as you know, our Christmas and holiday stamps come out several months before so that we can really get those sold and you all have time to make things with them. So here are two that I came up with after looking through their gallery. So this is based on a Kate Spade one that I saw that was just very clean and simple white with some branches around it. I made this with festive frame and this is one that I decided to make kind of a beachy one because they were saying what is your take on Christmas in July or Christmas in summer. So here I have turned the sand dollar for my set into an ornament. These are really quick cards to make, very minimal supplies, easy to stamp and ship and mail because this one is flat, does, doesn't weigh a lot and um, you can make them in just a few minutes and mass produce them. So to two, two cards in one video today, so I'm gonna go quickly. The first one that we're going to do is the festive frame one. So this is an A2 size frame that you can use in four different directions on your cards. I've got the measurements posted for this white card below. The um, ink pads I'm gonna be using today, I've got the fresh asparagus, the Christmas pine, the dark chocolate, and then I'm gonna use the black onyx for a greeting. So we're gonna do a direct to stamp today where I'm just gonna be using my pads and inking onto the frame. If you don't have all these different colors and you want to use your markers for these different colors, you can definitely do that. But I'm gonna start with my lightest color, which is the base color for the frame, this fresh asparagus. So I'm gonna ink all over. And this frame is just great for creating a really quick but balanced layout on your cards. Then I'm going to take the Christmas pine and I'm going to use just the edge of that and I'm going to swipe over just those little pine needles there at the corners and then just touching a little bit into the poinsettia. So this is a no color card today as far as having to get out your markers and spend a lot of time coloring. The next thing that we're gonna do, I'm gonna just put a little bit of the brown onto the little berries and onto the pine cones. Okay, and then we're gonna flip this over and I'm just gonna eyeball this here. So I wanna just see that I have about the same amount of room all the way around and then just press right onto my card base. So all over and pull it away and it's done. Then I've got lots of different greetings on here. So on the first one that I just showed you, I used the We Wish You a Merry Christmas and you can put and a Happy New Year inside. So that's kind of a nice one when you're sending it a greeting from all of us. I think I'm going to use Happy Holidays on this one. So I'm just going to stamp this in black and again this is just like the Kate Spade design with the color choices and I will link the paperless post gallery below so that you can see the different cards I used as my inspiration. That's it and then the final touch and you just need a little bit of time to let this dry. I'm using some liquid pearls. It had just some random gold dots on it so if you want you could use sequins, you could use pearls but I'm just gonna add some dimension and some shine. And they're gonna look pointed when you first put them down, but you can tap onto the back, and once they dry, they are going to settle into a nice pearl rounded shape. And so I'm doing some small ones, and then some large ones, doing them in odd numbers. And I'm going to put just a couple at the centers here of these poinsettias. 
And you can really bling this up and do more if you want. You could also put some on these berries here. Just do a tiny one there to accent that. And that's it. So you would just let that dry. Again, you can tap on the back a little bit to make these settle. So that's card number one with festive frame. I also love this for putting pictures inside. So that's a great way to send your family portrait. So this next one, I am going to stamp out the sand dollar from my Gifts from the Sea set. So I've got a small block for that one. And I'm going to use, on this card, I'm going to be using the Moonlit Fog, the Gina K Designs Moonlit Fog, and then some of the white pigment ink, and then just the black for the greeting. So I'm going to stamp the sand dollar. And this is just on a piece of scratch paper. And then I'm gonna cut this out. And normally I would cut this with my little cutter bee scissors. Just have misplaced those for the moment. So I'm gonna do something I don't normally do and cut this out with my ribbon scissors. So I don't like to use my Fiskar scissors on these normally unless I'm in a pinch like this because paper really dulls your ribbon scissors. So I like to keep these nice and sharp just for ribbon. But the card that I saw for this one, it was just one single ornament hanging. So when I look at my stamp sets or when I'm looking at designs, I always notice shapes first and that's why it comes pretty naturally to me to substitute other images for kind of out of the box designs like this. Okay, so there's my ornament. I kind of like that it has the star in it too. And there is um, kind of a legend of the sand dollar that does have a tie in with Christmas, which is kind of nice. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pigment ink and this is a little speckle image, which you can use for sand or all different kinds of textures on your card. So I'm using craft paper here anyway. This is the Gina K craft and then the ivory. And I, this already has a lot of texture on it, but something cool that you can do with this texture stamp is you can make almost any color cardstock have kind of a texture on it or a fibrous texture with those little speckles like a piece of craft does. But like right here, what I'm doing obviously is I'm trying to recreate the look of snow, but it is making it look even a little more sandy just with these speckles. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit more down at the bottom as if it's all kind of piling up there. And then you're getting kind of a little bit of a, a gradient, just more of a white. So do as much as you want there. And then I am going to do another greeting from the Best of Frame. So I'm gonna do Seasons Greetings on this one. So I included lots of different ones so that you have a lot of different options. And if you're using this set year after year, you can do a different greeting each time. So I'm just gonna put this centered there on the bottom so my ornament can hang above it. And I'm gonna put some pop dots on the back of this. It'd be kind of fun even if you didn't wanna put the pop dots on and you wanted to send it so that they could just pull it off and use it like a little hanging ornament. So on this card, I've got both Baker's Twine and Embroidery Floss. Originally, I was planning on just using the Baker's Twine, but I only had just a little bit left. So I'm gonna use just this tiny little piece. I'm going to attach the back of it to my foam square and then have it going through the top like that. And then I'm going to attach this here at the bottom one and then have this loop up over the edge. So I'm going to put just a little bit of adhesive onto my base and then just some here that that string can grab onto. And then finally, I'm gonna take just a little piece of that coordinating embroidery floss and make a little bow around that. And that's it. So get started on your Christmas cards early, but again, use also the paperless post if you wanna make those custom cards with a picture of your family. 
I just, I would love to be able to send a handmade card to everybody, but I know, but it just gets longer every year, obviously, with new friends, new neighbors, new teachers. So I send out all those handmade cards to kind of the people closest to us first, but then there's definitely always a place for something like paperless post. And especially for your invites, that is the most reliable way that I know of always to get a reply by sending them electronically. And that's it. So just fold it and you're finished. I hope you enjoy these two quick cards that I've created today with festive frame and gifts from the sea from Gina K Designs. Thanks again to Paperless Post for reaching out and asking for a guest spot today. Please visit my blog, Hands, Head, and Heart for more ideas and inspiration using all of our stamp sets and Gina K Designs and Stamp TV. Thank you for watching today. God bless.